Okay, so I told the God that you're going to stay, you stay with Christ. So, you get dogma, by actually handle it, but just do it. It's not the height of one, and so should all about it. It's around the software, it's around the actual protocol of how the one would you ready to work. And it also covers how some of the actual hardware should be actually be used. So, that is a full standard. That's the international standard, why it's in one of the um, and it is GMX 512, um, or GMX, GMX in the term of GMX 512, 512, over the 584 Now, you can build up and you can go. 485, standard RS485, and you can do it in your dongle, going out of the device. Nothing special about it. You send LOR, more protocol, download 485. Yeah? Right, we're all the bombs you see without saying. So in, in terms of that, there's nothing really special between DMX and the virus. It's just a protocol of getting data from the software out to the controls of the current. Okay. Let's hope we what's in it for you to actually use DMX? You go and get DMX lights, DMX controllers, there's professional lighting equipment, you name it, most of it will support some of the lighting DMX. You walk out, walk into a pro-lighting shop, and pick up a moving headlight, and put it in the display and have three lights that move around. Or you can go to a room and get the DMX controllers, etc. Um, you can build your own. Leave with a couple of things or a couple of DMX bombs, I can use. Have you used the wide display for a number of years? Uh, there's just a new one. These are from um, DLA, Argo, so they in the US. They're in the school. Um, they're next to the controls. They're just US for the other computer. The new one on the top two, and 485 if you're using the cat fly cable, out to control it. Boys can hardly hear me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I need a shave, mate. The camera's got too much resolution. <laughs> okay? DMX. DMX will give you 512 channels on a universe. When I'm talking about a universe, uh, all you use uh, network. Coming out of there is a universe. Okay, a single universe of 512 channels. It doesn't have to be 512 channels, it could be a universe of 30 channels. Okay, BMX just specifies that there has to be a, a number of channels. The next will stop. The next will specify an absolute minimum that comes in around about the practical minimum about 40 other channels and a maximum channel count of 512. The data that's coming out, we are now from that universe of channels. It's constantly repeated. Now, this is said, as I said, that data has a minimum refresh rate of one second. Every second it must be refreshed by the standard. Normally, these sorts of hardware devices uh, will refresh it 40 times a second. Okay, so the data just keeps going out there. And you drop a packet of the MX server controller. 25 milliseconds later, bang. 22 and a half milliseconds later, 45 milliseconds, bang. There's a new set of data. So you might see a very brief flicker in your lights, but unlikely that you get a drop back. So what that's different to the online operator from the same light there, it sends out a command. And that command is not repeated. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a war, I'm not a war expert. Okay. It's not great to support the light. So that's some of the stuff that is in the way. In terms of hardware, as I said, there's DMX dongles. Um, this is a device by uh, J1 SIS, which takes uh, E1 to the main one side, which we'll cover shortly, and DMX out the other side. That's all universes come out there. One universe on each of these others. Uh, now you will hear mention of um, 
I'm just talking to you. So if I go off slide, if I go off track of the slide, I can't like hit the slide, but I'm covering the information I can. You will hear mention of the term hyper DMX. Hyper DMX was uh, a little project put together by myself and Ed, who does the J1 Tits range, um, to say we want to get more than a, more than 512 channels out on that piece of copper. Uh, we want to get up to a thousand channels out on that piece of copper. So we come up with a way to actually get four times the data rate. We didn't do anything special. Coming out of this, coming out of one of these off your cat flight cable coming out of the yard the controller, comes out of 250 kilobits per second. Right. All we did was send it out to one megabit per second. We didn't do anything special. We just four times the data rate. But the controllers are their chief, the dongle and the controller are their talk hyper DMX. So there is nothing magical about hyper DMX except it's going to pass the data rate. So, how does it work? What have we been talking about out there? Can it it's going to send up to 512 channels out on that piece of copper? Well, we all know what I mean by piece of copper. Where you have your cat five cables coming around the yard. GNX controllers have star channels, the hardware out there have those star channels. Okay, they're wide in a series is the wrong word, they're wide in what's called a multi drop configuration. I think you want more than the ones wide the same way. Okay, okay each controller sits on there. And in the DMX world, it only looks at, it only looks for the data it's concerned about. It. So, you, you do that from the start on the control for setting these start channels. So, if you set a control for a start channel of 101, right, that, and it's got 16 channels in the control, that control will look for data starting at 101. Going to 117 in that data stream, and that's all it will react to. Now, if your software doesn't send data out from that, from that data range, your controller is simply doing nothing. Okay. And that as well. That's a limitation of the little black chip in the RS4 and pop chip. 32 devices. They do do half load, quarter load, eight load, what they call eight load. Um, for our budget. This actually then says you can have 32, 64, or 128, or even 256 devices handed on. In the world of 16 channel, 24 channel, 48 channel controllers, if you can get to um, even 32 devices, you don't want controllers out there. Okay? Where that becomes a factor is if you're going out to the road and getting with all three channel controllers to run IGB strip and the DMX, three is to 512 channels, about 170 channels, and that would be 170 controllers. That's going to be the same specification for the number of things you can have in the piece of copper. Makes sense. Okay, so what does this mean? I guess, you know, they're talking about any, any, any hardware out there that accepts, accepts DMX, you can use it. Right? And that varies a huge amount. If it's a phone like Brian and it's trying to accept DMX, well, now obviously it's got that service here at this point around it, hang it up. Ah, no, seriously. Anything that accepts DMX. It's just a point. Obviously, I think you read post, Brian said it to me last night, four controllers since 2009, is it? Could be 2008. 2008. I believe all except DMX manually. They don't need to have to do it with two. I mean, DMX network can make it just work up there. Okay. Um, 
Um, they are bisexual. And there's lots of controls in there. Even the Renard series has got their expert in the curriculum. David and the stuff is all DMX. Or here I will pass it to DMX. So you can build it yourself, you can buy it pre built. Uh, and once again, it's back to the professional world again. You go out and buy a moving headlight, you go out and buy you know, all sorts of pretty lasers and smoke machines and bubble machines. Look at all the DMX controlled bubble machines. Okay. So there's lots of stuff out there that is DMX. In terms of the dominant, uh, LOR make a DMX dominant. Yep. And you hear the term open and pro dominant. And they come from NTech. Uh, that's the term NTech used for their two versions of their dominant. An open dominant was an open design dominant. You can't actually publish the soon. Possibly, I can do it. They actually published the circuits for it and said, here it is, anyone can look on it. So, um, but the open dongle, and this applies to all open dongles, they have made an open dongle, NJEC do open dongle, the law has an open dongle, it's based on the open dongle, DMX King out there also does an open dongle, there's a whole range of people who do this. The dongle is driven by the computer and the software. It is responsible for generating the DMX stream and the data. Okay. So if you've got a slow computer that drops down and does a virus check in the middle of the show, your DMX stream is going to go and not work anymore. Okay. Today's high power computers, you don't think that actually happens, you're probably pretty low. Okay. But it is a consideration. The programmers, okay? The time of everything in the programs is handled within the dongle. Okay? All the computer does is send it say on the USB, transmit this bit of data. The dongle says, cool, I'm going to transmit it 40 frames a second, and I'm just going to fix it here. And the situation where the dongle will actually, if you unplug the USB, well, you unplug the USB actually. It's not working because the power button is there. But in the situation where the software stops working, the dongle just keeps sending the last bit of data out of the top. So you won't actually make a lot of software shuts down. Then, of course, I held this up before. You've got DMX, uh, e month, e month, DMX bridges. Um, That's how we get our DMX trains out there. I apologize for running around so I only did these slides up two days, two nights ago. It was a long ago. But once the slides, I can actually put all this up in prison and completely off the cut. Okay. So, software, LR repairs petition. The repairs petition does version 3. Version 3, does it do much Version 3, S3, repairs, does do this negatively. They asked to zoom in <laughs> <laughs> because they could <laughs> Sully, Sully, no, Sully, 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 Research on and uh, get some information. And I went and looked at the price and thought, 
Wow, it was $139. Oh, it was $139. Yeah, he's got to wait up. Jeff Wolf Ruth took $139 for the upgrade. And I'm thinking, that's actually quite great. No, we're not sitting anymore. Look, I was actually surprised how Jeff was to actually go up to what was the advantage of the So, to get a DMX maybe, it's not really uh, going to do. And pretty much any of the other software that we use in the Christmas like community already has DMX support built into it. Okay. So you can go out and get all the other sorts of software and it's got DMX. So, considerations. Okay, well, um, <coughs> when you grab that, when you grab a piece of cat five cable and uh, Probably everyone just sort of want to play around. In my yard, my yard is five meters wide at one end, maybe ten meters wide at the other end, so it's shaped like that, and it's about 25 meters long. And I run power cable out from the garage, and I run DMX cables, and I run network cables, and I run all this stuff goes out there. I've got a bundle of about six or seven 240 volt extension leads out of my garage and wander down through the yard because I do have 240 volt equipment out there that uh, we do use. Um, I keep running the same problem. I tend to just run my cat bike cables out and sort of drag them somewhere. And I'm slowly learning don't drag them near the 240 volt because if you run near the 240 volt cable, you don't you get noise into your DMX cable and it will cause errors and it will cause issues. So, cat 5, cat 6, DMX standard actually talks about a screen twisted pair cable. That's the true DMX cable. You can actually buy it if somebody has DMX cable. Okay, you can buy one. So, as I mentioned, electrical noise. So, if you do do it, separate that cat 5 cable away from your 240 volt. But it's not only just 240 volt. You know those pretty good old cables, you know, standard speaker cables you run from your controller out to the lights that are making the lights blink on and off? Guess what? They don't generate noise. So they can actually also cause noise problems, or electrical noise problems. Okay? Well, that might sound silly, but you turn them on and off, and it's a speed up going, they can noise. Software set up. Some software is easy for others to set up, and we we'll, can we'll have a great book on being one of these sorts of various software setups. Oops. Wireless usage. I joined the States for a dedicated DMX wireless transmission set of uh, equipment. Apparently, it works really well, providing you've got absolute line of sight and not very far away. Okay? Um, I remember a story a couple of years ago of a guy that was actually using it and he was going across the road to his next door neighbor, the guy the neighbor across the road, and they had this one on each side of the road. And about eight o'clock every night, he used to wonder why the neighbor's signal went went off. And it was a truck that used to come up and park in front of his or near his house at about that time for about 10 minutes. And the truck was blocking the wireless signal, even though it wasn't directly in the line of sight, of course, nothing interference to it to cause a problem. So you can use it wirelessly, um, but your mileage will vary or may vary, but it is possible. Of course, every single universe has a 500 volt channel limit, unless you jump into the whole hyper DMX world, well, but it is not a standard used across. All equipment. So you do have a limit of 512 channels. And that becomes important when you're moving to the whole IQ pixel technology. Because all of a sudden you, you just tune the DMX channels off your own side. PPOE, and we'll jump into that, we'll jump into this soon, but Passive 
chaos over people. Now this is important to know in terms of what our community is doing inside the go work. Um, it's an ability to get voltage over your cat five cable out to the controls. Right, we'll just use basically this is a power injector. It takes standard fan cable on this side and sends DMX uh, Ethernet out this side with voltage on pairs four, five, seven, eight, I think. Okay. Uh, so power over Ethernet. Uh, passive power over Ethernet. Uh, but there is a consideration if you're in purely the DMX world with that. The earthing needs to be connected through, and that particular device there doesn't connect the earth through from the dongle out to the controls. Just the way it's wired. Okay. However, having used that up in Brisbane and tested it, it works. Okay. So, quite a lot of things. Um, I've seen some really weird, strange setups in terms of DMX that shouldn't work, but do. Okay? My own setup. I have, you know, I ran, I still, even last year with all my pixel technology, I still ran these two. These two are actually my two DMX universes going out to addition my other 20 universes of the um, 131. Cable going out, and one cable one went. Out of the garage to a controller, about eight to nine meters, across six meters to another controller, another six meter jump. Uh, there was about a 12 meter run across the front yard, down to another controller, across to another controller, and that's where it terminated. If DMX, going off the time run. DMX, DMX requires to be terminated, and that's why we have to this in the, the cable needs to turn up, this have a turnover. Now the controllers, the, the, the DI light type controllers come with a terminator on, the pro level gear inspection can plug an external terminator into it. Okay? Now in terms of um, in terms of uh, it's a 120 yard resistor which you can actually make up and then make up and do a you know standard AJ plug if you're using the DLY here or it comes in a can you know, three pin can connect if you're using the probe here. Um, my control is set up and this comes back to the stuff that you know you think won't work. Went out, I terminated the end controller, just put the little jumper on the on the thing. Turn the ring on, all my lights just went, we don't want to work. Hmm, okay. Pull the terminator off. Oh yeah, work, 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 flash, work, flash. Hmm. Terminator back on, walked up the next control for another terminator on. Not what you're supposed to do. However, all of a sudden, my damn accident would just work. It was all happening. It wanted to terminate something. Don't ask me what it was. I have no idea. Shouldn't work, but it did. Okay? So, if you do end up with weird, strange things, don't be afraid to do something quite out of it. That's not quite in the box. Okay? Um, questions? What's the main advantage of having to do an episode of something like that? You know what I think the main advantage is? Constant refresh of data. You don't have to lose anything. Okay. To me, to me, um, I've read and I'm a member of most of major forums out there. I've read I've read about more years of saying I send a pack out there and it gets dropped and my wife's going to do something. And it's so frustrating. I don't say you send it to me and never get a fight the lights and it never gets out of control so they never pay. DMX that won't happen. Because it's just going to keep singing in those 40 frames per second. It might not start to play exactly where you tell it, but it's going to send the next three seconds of play. To me, that's the, to me, that's the major advantage of 
Why run up US D four eighty five B, US D four eighty five and it says DMX out. Yeah. Hello Yeah, okay. It says DMX out. So yeah, so providing you make an adapter that converts the IRP out back to a standard if you want to use other DMX type devices, you need one of these to drive standard DMX. What would be best? One of them or the E1.31? It comes, back, it comes back to requirements. It's all about requirements. If someone has got LRI and wants to dabble in DMX and they've got one of these, they can start playing with DMX. Okay. Uh, if you get serious with it, then you know, getting into this sort of device um, when LRI supports the 131 uh, is going to make a more economically better direction. I will go into that. Yeah, um, when you talk about a unit versus a unit versus your 5 channels, or is it 512 total? Oh, a, a universe is, and this one says universe 2 on top, and one one says universe 1, which comes there. Universe 1 at the bottom, universe 2 at the top. It's just it's the physical connection. Really. And it can be up to 512 channels. Each, each, each one, each universe, each 512. Up to 512. Okay. I'm saying up to for a very specific reason. Because you can go out and buy hardware controllers that are only have 194 channels, 194 channels, and 300 channels. And they're on the universe. But they're only going to send 194 channels there. That's it. But normal, yes, in terms of what we do, 512 jumps, 3 units. That's what I'm doing. 